Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksblog.com and today I'm going to up poison my router and perform a man in the middle attack on my desktop computer. So what does this mean? This means I'm going to intercept the traffic between my desktop and the internet uh, to serve up my own version of a web page. So I'm going to have some fun with it. This is going to be done for a Galaxy Nexus. This is a rooted Android device and it's actually really easy to do. Before I get started though, uh, this is something that you do not want to do on a public network, public Wi-Fi or a college or uni Wi-Fi. This sort of thing can be detected and if you're found out, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble because it can be considered a hacking attempt. So this is called Network Spoofer. Uh, in the background you'll see I have dunksarcade.com. This is a Flash website I've had for a while. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do a control refresh on this page. So just see, so you see that this is a normal web page. It's just loading up all the images for it. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and start this. So again, this is a rooted Android device. This uh, actually takes about 500 megabytes of space. So make sure you have that. And it gives you a heck of a lot of options. So we have multiple spoofs. So we can run more than one of these things. You can change all sorts to a certain website, blur the images, do custom Google searches, image changes, flip images, uh, redirecting traffic. Now redirecting traffic through the phone means you can capture packets which is something you can do to analyze traffic. Again this is something that may be considered hacking because you're monitoring what other people are looking at, things like that. And uh, you can rickroll and do a troll face on all images. So today I'm going to do a troll face on all images. It's going to tell me a little bit about the network that I'm connected to. If you need to change that, you can go to change Wi-Fi settings. Uh, focus camera. There we go. Change Wi-Fi settings. And uh, you'll see it's got all the different things that I have here. So I'm connected to 10.0.0.2. That is my router's address. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one at the top. And it's going to list all the uh, IPs it can see on, on here. But because my desktop's connected for a LAN cable, or, you know, it's a wired connection, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the IP for it. So I'm going to click Other. And my IP for my desktop is 10.0.0.4. So I click OK. And it's ready to go. All I need to do now is press Start. So I'm going to go ahead and press Start. And you'll know that this is working when you see that there's replies. You'll see your IP address here and it shows where it's at and it's ready to go. Start the web server and all I need to do now is do what I just did which is control refresh on the web page and this web page should now display troll faces instead here you can see we've got some troll faces. If I go ahead and refresh again it should replace everything. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Totally owned this website. As you can see it's just passing itself through this device. This is essentially a man in the middle, so this can act as an interceptor between the desktop and the internet to uh, serve up its own version. So this, again, considered a hacking attempt, and it's something that shows you the underlying issues with networking. And uh, luckily, things like Facebook and YouTube and Google all run HTTPS, which this will not work for, but as you know, Dunks Arcade is just a simple site, and it uh, will work on blogs and things like that. Anything that doesn't have HTTPS, it should work on most networks too. Uh, as long as you know IP addresses and things like that, if it can detect it. But again, only do this if you want to trick your friends and family or anything like that. This does load the web page a little bit slower too. You'll see us returning back to normal now. I've just control and refreshed. I'll do it again and we should have it completely. There we go. Back to normal. So it's something that's uh, like a fun little prank to do, uh, but it can be used for malicious intent. So be very careful with that. Uh, this is done through Network Spoofer. I'll provide the link in the description. And thanks for watching this video. If you want suggestions for the next video, please let me know. Please subscribe if you like these videos. And thanks again.